Let's Talk Coffee is the annual gathering of the coffee supply chain. It's a weekend where growers and roasters and retailers and baristas, even bankers and non-governmental organizations come together to understand the common problems they share in producing specialty coffee. And it's this community of trust that's built as there's complete transparency in the supply chain. Let's Talk Coffee is a weekend where they get to meet each other and talk about the things that matter to them. Essentially, it's been one of the most amazing developments of an experience where we're bringing producers and growers together and uh, matching them with roasters and all the people that are in the chain and just seeing how that's grown over the last few years has been really amazing. It was fantastic to go to El Grotto, which was a Colombian Coffee Federation training farm and watch the cup beans taking place for the Q grading course and also seeing the ongoing experiments of how to dry coffee, how to process coffee correctly, and having that all linked to the quality of cupping the coffee. In my opinion, Colombia seems to be at the forefront of really connecting their coffee processing to coffee quality, coffee tasting. session of Let's Talk Coffee was also a great experience for everyone in the supply chain involved. Joel Ben Izzy is a storytelling consultant from the Bay Area. He's worked with very large companies like Hewlett Packard and Pixar, helping people understand how to use stories to best market themselves and market their products. About six years ago, when we held the first Let's Talk Coffee, it was originally just for the supply chain members who Sustainable Harvest worked with, both the growers and the roasters. But now we've turned the event into something much larger, something for more people in the industry. We've expanded it to barista, and we did that because we wanted to connect the entire supply chain. A group of baristas, most of them champions, including the world champion Stephen Morrissey from Ireland who came down not only to show people how to make espresso and latte art, but also to host a competition, the first Let's Talk Coffee barista competition, where the growers, many of whom had never even known how an espresso machine worked, they became teams that competed, and people like Stephen Morrissey were the judges. And it was a great event that sort of let people into the world of espresso in a very fun and inclusive way. Another event that, that occurs is the field trip to see best practices in that particular country. In Colombia, when we were at Let's Talk Coffee, we were able to go to Finca El Placer, an amazing farm with lots of innovations. And for farmers coming from places like Tanzania or Nicaragua or Mexico, many of them have never seen these kinds of innovations in coffee and they learn on the spot. And each year as we move Let's Talk Coffee from country to country, the farmers learn more and more and it all becomes this peer-to-peer -peer training network that really works. My name is Yahya Omari Maguisa from Tanzania. My name is Fatima Lopez. Uh, I am Yoshi Tiago. I come from Nicaragua. the Netherlands. I am Miriam. Soy Pedro Rodríguez. Vengo de Bolivia. Mi nombre es Romulo Echegaray Farfá, gerente de la cooperativa Araria Capitalera. Mi nombre es Frank. Oh, soy Javier Fausnet. I'm from Bourbon Specialty Coffee. I think it's just important to have every member of the supply chain so people can really understand where the coffee comes from, from seed to cup, quite literally.